start today's flow in mountain pose. So we're gonna ground into the earth with our feet. We've got our feet in nice, comfortable hip distance apart, really grounding into the earth with the uh, tripod of our feet. So under the ball of our big toe, little toe and our heel, pressing into the earth, really using that grounding to lift ourselves up all the way from our feet, all the way up our inner thighs, long spine, and just reaching our fingertips towards the earth, crown of the head goes to the sky, feeling a nice body, uh, all, full body stretch here. As we start to activate our Lula Bandha breath, so inhaling warm and wide, everything in your little belly expands and your pelvic floor and exhale, squeeze everything in and out. Inhale here, exhale. Exhaling through our nose, getting that victorious or ujjayi breath sound. One last time, inhaling here. Exhale. I'm trying to maintain that deep core breath through our entire practice. Uh, for now, I'm gonna come to the front of my mat. So come to a comfortable position again, still in your mountain pose, but this time we're gonna bend our knees and sit back into our heels, coming into a chair pose. So a chair, we don't want to be too far forward on our toes, that will actually hurt um, our knees a bit. So sitting back onto our heels, knees and toes are in line, inhale, reach your arms uh, tall, extending your spine, sitting back into your heels, coming into your chair. And if you can hold this for a couple of breaths, I'm going to a fun chair pose challenge here. So take your hands to your heart center in your Namaste or Anjali Mudra. And we're going to twist. So taking left elbow to top of your right leg. Inhale, you can stand up between. Exhale, twist the other way. So hands come back to center. Right elbow to left leg. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Don't need to worry about taking this too fast. We're still warming up here, and we want to make sure that we have good alignment, more so than good speed. <laughs> and we're going to go one last time, twisting to the right. This time we'll hold it, though. So wave your spine long. Now from here, look down towards the earth. Really ground into the earth with your right foot and your right leg. Lift in and up and see if you can lift your left leg into your chest a bit, and then see if you can extend, stepping the left foot back, coming into a twisted lunge here. Holding that twisted lunge, great challenge for your hips. And now left hand grounds onto the earth beneath your left shoulder, right arm extends to the sky. We're gonna exhale, bending everything closer to the earth, circling the arm and extending to that edge of stretch. Exhale, stretching up, exhale one last time, coming up into our stretch and seeing if we can hold this stretch, a twisted triangle here, hold it for one more breath, this time bending the right knee again, both hands are going to ground onto the earth coming down to strong palms, stepping yourself back into plank, coming onto your knees, lowering through your chaturanga, inhale here, prepare, rolling yourself in and up to cobra, exhale, coming through pointed plank to your down dog, inhale, wave the spine long here as you settle into your dog pose, bending both knees just a bit, and right leg lifts to the sky, exhale, bring your knee up, for core plank, really lifting in and up as you step your right foot to meet your right thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bend your back knee, roll yourself in and out, coming into your high lunge. And this time we're gonna do an open arm twist. So twisting to the right. So you wanna keep your hips stubbornly facing forward. The twist is coming from your upper body. Right arm can drop behind you and left arm can circle above you. 
a twisted reverse warrior here. Now from here, here's an extra fun challenge. You're going to bring your left elbow back to the top of your right leg, hands come back to heart center for your Anjali Mudra, and we're back in our twisted lunge. Look back to the earth for balance, ground into the earth with your right leg again, and see if you can step your left foot back up into chair pose. Woo! That is a fun challenge for you. Inhale up, and exhale back into chair. We've got two sides, so we're going to do that whole sequence again. So inhale here, exhale, twisting to the left. Inhale up, exhale back to the right. Inhale up, exhale. Notice the difference in your legs already from one quick, fun, funky sequence. To the right and last time here, twisting right elbow meets left leg. Wave the spine long, we're gonna hold this one and do our balance challenge. So the grounding into the earth with your left foot, lifting everything in and up, using that strength from the ground to lift your right knee and see if you can lift your right leg from higher, from a higher place in your deep core. Lifting that up, holding that balance. Right leg reaches out long and steps behind you for your twisted lunge. Long spine here. One more breath in your lunge and then plant your right hand uh, underneath your right shoulder. Right arm extends and lifts to the, or left arm, excuse me, extends and lifts to the sky. We'll do those circling twists. So circle everything down, get closer to the earth. Left arm lifts as you extend your legs, finding your edge of stretch. Circle here again. It's great to relieve tension from your shoulders. And one last time, this time holding the stretch. You can look towards your hand or towards the floor, however you feel like stretching your neck today. And bending your left knee, left hand plants onto the earth. Step back into your plank, come onto your knees. So we've got a healthy alignment for our shoulders for our chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare, roll yourself in and up. And exhale, back to down dog. Settle into your dog for a moment. Inhale here, prepare. Left leg lifts high. Exhale, bring your knee high into your chest, really lifting in and up as you step your left foot to meet your left thumb. Inhale here, prepare. Bending your back knee, roll yourself in and out, coming into your high lunge again. Now from here, we're gonna do that open arms twist. So find your balance and twist to the left. So your body is facing your left leg but your hips are still fighting to face forward. And left arm can reach your back leg, right arm can reach above you. And for that last super challenge, come back into your twist, look to the floor, really grounding into the left leg as you step your right foot back up to chair or your twisted chair, inhale here, exhale this time forward, fold, very nice, you can wave back and forth. Start with a slight bend in your knees, wave your spine long, folding over your legs and then finding that edge of stretch again. From here, planting your Left hand again underneath your left shoulder. Left knee is going to bend, right leg is going to stay straighter for you. Right arm reaches to the sky. You can even uh, rotate your palm and twist your arm behind you. Open up your shoulder while we stretch out our right hip. One last breath on this side. Come back to your fold and start with little bend in the knees, wave the spine long, then straighten your legs for the fold, plant your right hand underneath your right shoulder, bend the right knee so that little left leg is straighter, left arm reach, reaches towards the sky. And from here, if you want, 
You can stay here or you can rotate your palm behind you. Get good uh, movement for the shoulder before wrapping your hand behind your back. It's a great way to stretch out your shoulders while we are stretching our hips. Again, you can look towards the ceiling or towards the floor, whatever is most comfortable for you today. And come back into your forward fold. And from here, we're gonna make our way down to the floor. So coming to a seated position and then rolling all the way down, hug your knees into your chest circle them one way, circle on the other. And from here, coming into your final resting pose. If you want, I'm feeling a uh, reclined butterfly shavasana today. You can, of course, extend your legs long if you're feeling like that's more your speed for right now. Just return to your normal breath here. You can even do one big sigh. You can stick out your tongue while you do that. Activate the very top of your deep core line. Let your body sink into the floor. Come into its nice new alignment after that quick flow. you enjoyed that uh, quick hip opener um, you know it's easy to fit in yoga every day if you can do just a little bit so I hope that you enjoyed that little bit that we did today um, definitely make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you get notifications every time a new video is uploaded make sure of course that you are also on the your League of Nerdy Yogis email list I've got exclusive content content for you there so definitely want to see you there definitely want to see you on the channel and I definitely want to see you on the mat again next week namaste